There are a lot of options for drums in Logic, and one that's been around for a while is Ultrabeat. So let's take a look at Ultrabeat. I will make a new track. I'm in our track that we just finished laying in some loops with. I'll make a new track. This is going to be a regular old software instrument. Create a track. Let's move it up to the top just so we know what we're looking at. And on this track, which defaults to electric piano, I'm going to change the plugin from electric piano to ultra beat drum synth stereo. Okay, so once again, I made an electric piano. I just changed the plugin to ultra beat, and this window pops up. Now, if you're transitioning from Reason or one of the kind of note based sequencers, this is going to be like falling off a log for you. You've been doing this for a while. And a lot of you have been doing this on different apps probably, but here it is in Logic. So let's change at the top from factory default, scroll down to the bottom and tutorial settings, tutorial kit. We'll just make our own little drum beat here. We have this kick there. We have some snares. I like this one. That's number three. Although it has kind of a doinky sound to it which I can eliminate if I turn this oscillator off and maybe this oscillator off. Ooh, I like it. It's a little bright. So on this noise oscillator, maybe I just change this filter from 3700 to maybe something lower. Maybe something in the 500 range. I could shelf it too. That's worse. So yeah, I think we had it back here. Somewhere in the 500 range was sort of working. And if I want that doinky thing back, that's the doinky one down there. So, okay. And this kick is here. So. You could go through and say, well, I want to kick on one and let's see, seven and 11 and 14 of the first bar, right? 16 notes here, followed by 16 notes there, then 17 and let's see, it's the third one here and the third one there. And then we won't put a pickup note there and then just play this. Now, I want to just play here. Okay, so I have some kick parts in. Let's fly in the snares. I'm going to choose the snare sound. I think he's just going to be on 5, 9, 13, 17, 21, the 20s like that. You know what? Maybe that's too many. I think maybe he's just every other like this, right? All right, so you can go through meticulously note for note for note for note at the molecular level and plug in every single note. I don't know. Are you that kind of a person? So, in fact, if we just switch to the drum kits and hit machine, oh, we like that. Then we can just play the drum parts that are already loaded. We can change them there. That's going to give me different sounds and beats. Drum banks will also give me just lots and lots of sounds of this particular thing. If I just want hats, if I just want kicks, if I just want snares. We saw what Tutorial Kit does, so let's stick with our Hit Machine here. And even inside Hit Machine, we can change the patterns down here in the lower left-hand corner. We have all sorts of patterns that this little guy can play. So lots of flexibility here. If you want to start getting into removing the doinkiness from snares and that sort of thing.
sometimes you find a drum part that's like, oh, that's so close to what I want. If it just didn't do that thing on the end of seven, you know? And so now you can get in and sort of do some editing and make things happen where you want them. One thing here, when you're done with the pattern that you like, you grab over here. This doesn't look like much, but you grab there and you drag to, they call it the arrange window. See that? Arrange window. We're not calling it the arrange window anymore. We're calling it the main window. And now we can just close the ultra beat. Our MIDI data is in here. Let's mute our other drum guys. Gee, we got a lot of drummers auditioning for this job, huh? And see what this is like in here. It's probably too loud. Let's bring it down. Okay, so there's another way to get drums into your session. So that's Ultra Beat. To get back to the controls for it, you would click here, get your control panel back. You can actually make this smaller by going up here in the upper right. You can make it bigger too. I'm already kind of running out of room here, but you can make it a little smaller if you need to see it. Remember those screen sets we talked about? This might be a case where we'd want to, let's see. Let's do this. Let's turn off the library, turn off the inspector, and then let's duplicate this screen set and call this ultra so we know what it means. It'll be number six. And we're going to, we need the inspector back, don't we, to get to the controls for ultra beat. But then we can close the inspector. And where would the controls go? Maybe over here, they're not so much in the way. Okay, and that now is six. We can go back to one, or we can jump to six and make our changes in Ultra Beat. Tap the letter one, and we're back into the main window with Ultra Beat closed. So there's a case where screen sets kind of come in handy to give you what you want at any given moment. Now, good old Ultra Beat has a lot of competition now. There's a drummer in Logic now. There's all these cool new sounds on these stacks that are built up of different drum beats. And of course, there's the loops that we investigated earlier. So Ultrabeat kind of used to have the drum machine business to itself in Logic, but now it has a lot of competition. But that's good. It gives you a lot of options, and we like that.